INFJs and Money How INFJ Personality Type Views Wealth and Finances In this video, we'll explore how INFJs think about, manage, and prioritize money, and how their distinctive traits influence their financial habits. If you're an INFJ or know someone who is, this breakdown will give you a fresh perspective on how this rare personality type approaches financial matters. 1. Money is a means, not an end. INFJs often see money differently than most. To many, money represents success, status, or power. But for INFJs, money is more often viewed as a means to an end rather than an end goal itself. They see wealth as a tool to help others, fund passion projects, or create a life aligned with their values. For an INFJ, money isn't about the accumulation of wealth or the thrill of buying luxury items. Instead, they focus on using resources to improve the world or support causes they believe in. This explains why INFJs may not chase high-paying jobs unless they find purpose and meaning in the work they do. 2. Struggling with materialism One of the most significant challenges for INFJs when it comes to money is their discomfort with materialism. INFJs are known for their minimalistic tendencies and are often uncomfortable with the idea of accumulating unnecessary possessions. They don't derive joy from having stuff. Instead, they crave experiences and deep connections with others. This mindset can make them less interested in chasing financial success for its own sake, even if it's the societal norm. They often find themselves at odds with a culture that emphasizes consumption and wealth as markers of success. However, INFJs can be prone to feeling guilty about spending money on themselves. They may think, why should I buy something this pricey, when I could be helping someone else? Learning to balance their minimalist tendencies with self-care is an essential step for INFJs in developing a healthy relationship with money. 3. INFJs and Financial Planning INFJs tend to be strategic and long-term thinkers, so when it comes to financial planning, they can excel if they apply these skills. However, many INFJs struggle with the day-to-day -day practicalities of money management because they prefer to focus on their creative and idealistic pursuits rather than getting bogged down with spreadsheets and budgeting. Despite this, INFJs are highly capable of financial discipline when they tie it to a meaningful goal. For example, they may not care about saving for a fancy car, but they will save diligently if it means funding a charity traveling for personal growth, or creating a financial safety net for the people they care about. 4. Emotional Spending INFJs are known for their deep emotions, and those emotions can sometimes influence their spending habits. In moments of stress or emotional turmoil, INFJs might turn to emotional spending as a way to soothe themselves. However, they are also highly aware of their emotions and motivations, which means they often feel guilty after such purchases, leading to a cycle of self-criticism. On the flip side, INFJs are generous to a fault. They might spend money to help others, even at their own expense. This can leave them financially vulnerable if they don't establish boundaries and prioritize their own financial security. 5. INFJ Guilt Around Money Another common theme with INFJs and money is the guilt they often feel about spending or having too much. INFJs are acutely aware of inequality and suffering in the world, and they may struggle with the moral implications of wealth. They are often more focused on how they can redistribute their wealth to help others, which can lead to a reluctance to indulge in personal spending. This guilt can become unhealthy if it leads to self-denial or a lack of self-care. INFJs must find a balance between responsibly managing their money and allowing themselves the freedom to enjoy the fruits of their labor. 6. INFJs and Debt INFJs tend to have a strong sense of responsibility when it comes to financial matters, and many INFJs will avoid debt whenever possible. The idea of owing someone money or being financially constrained can cause significant anxiety for INFJs, who value freedom and independence. However, because INFJs are also empathetic and sometimes struggle to say no, they may end up in situations where they take on debt to help someone else, even if it's not in their best financial interest. For INFJs, learning to say no and prioritize their own financial well-being is crucial. 7. Giving and Charity 
If there's one thing that defines an INFJ's relationship with money, it's their generosity. INFJs are natural givers, and they often prioritize charity, donations, and supporting causes they believe in. For INFJs, giving money away is one of the most fulfilling ways to use their resources, and they often feel compelled to help others in times of need. They are not the type to hoard wealth or seek to accumulate vast amounts of money for themselves. Instead, they prefer to spread wealth in a way that makes a difference in the lives of others. 8. The Need for Financial Boundaries While INFJs are generous, they can also burn themselves out financially by giving too much or failing to establish clear boundaries around money. Because they are so attuned to the needs and emotions of others, INFJs may find themselves constantly lending money, covering costs for friends or family, or giving donations, even when it puts them in a difficult position. Learning to say no and protect their financial well-being is an important lesson for INFJs, who may struggle with guilt when they prioritize their own needs over the needs of others. 9. INFJs and Career Choices The INFJs' relationship with money is heavily influenced by their career choices. INFJs are drawn to professions that involve helping others, such as counseling, teaching, social work, or nonprofits. These fields are often less lucrative, but they align with the INFJ's core values of compassion, empathy, and making a difference in the world. However, this can sometimes lead to financial stress or feelings of frustration if they are not compensated fairly. INFJs need to learn to advocate for themselves, ensuring they are valued and paid appropriately for their work, even in fields where money is not the primary motivator. For INFJs who do enter more lucrative fields, they often do so with the purpose of using their wealth to further a cause, support loved ones, or gain the freedom to pursue their passions. At the end of the day, INFJs can build a healthy and balanced relationship with money by aligning their finances with their values. By recognizing the importance of financial independence and the positive impact money can have on both themselves and others, INFJs can create a sustainable financial plan that allows them to live authentically while still being generous. If you're an INFJ, remember that it's okay to spend on yourself, it's okay to make money, and it's okay to prioritize your financial future. When you use money wisely and with intention, you can create a life that not only reflects your ideals but also supports your ability to make a positive difference in the world.